You're listening and watching to a very special podcast. Here we have more coming your way. Enjoy. Frigga Falcone had her arms folded. Looks like you've been exposed. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I knew that was going to happen. Exposure. Oh, you are exposed now, and now everyone is looking for you, but they're not going to be looking here. No, sir. Hmm. Do you have any idea on how much pain I am in of agonizing and working very, very, very hard? I am ignored. I have been upset, rotten to the core, all the pain and all the agony I have suffered, Frigga ranted. Ben couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> She's going on a roll today. Just deal with it, Katrina whispered. She tends to be like this. Just then, as she was ranting, the phone rang. Frigga pointed a finger. Whatever you do, do not answer it. Tell those freaking policemen I am not here. Are you talking about the inspector, Inspector Lovell? Yes. Just answer the freaking phone and just tell him I'm not here. Ben just looked annoyed, but he did what he was told. He answered it. Hello? Oh, hi there. Yes, would you mind holding on a second? Don't tell me it's him. Please don't tell me it's him. It's not. Ben whispered, it's your man that you are obsessed about. But I want speaker to one speaker, Frigga said with gritted teeth. Oh, I'd like to hear this guy, Katrina muttered. So Ben put him on speaker. Dirge, good to hear your voice. How are you doing? Ben said. Oh, I'm doing quite well, thank you for asking. I was wondering, even though there's going to be a manhunt against you and, of course, Taylor, I was wondering, do you think maybe you can sneak on by back to the university? I would like to make a proposition, if you don't mind. Dirge said. Frigga was biting her lip, but she just looked like she was going crazy. Katrina had to stifle a giggle. Ben remarked, What's the proposition? I can't tell you unless you come here. Ben looked over. Frigga was nodding her head as a gesture to say yes. All right. I'd like to come. Good. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. Ta-ta. And I'll be seeing you soon, Taylor. Take care. <laughs> Katrina was intrigued. So, you wonderful gentlemen are going there? Well, you're not going there without me and the other three. I believe we want to get to know this guy a little better. I don't think that's safe. Come on, I just want to know. What is this guy anyway? <laughs> you shall see for yourself. Ben said, cool. I can't wait. So they head off to the university without being noticed and seen, but it was quite busy today, so it was hard to tell. Once they got there, George was surprised to meet Katrina Salvatore as well. You never told me you brought friends along. Hmm, neither did you, Katrina remarked towards George's goons. 
Then she looked over at the goons and had to ask, What happened to you? One of them just glared at her. Katrina had to giggle. <laughs> okay, don't tell me. It's fine. Just fine. That's when Dirge got down to business. All right, gents. Since now you're on the run, I thought maybe we can have a little bit of fun with them, if you're most highly likely to. I have managed to get someone here to speak to you about something more promising, if you will. This made Ben and Taylor suspicious. Katrina knew this was going to be bad. The other three were just shaking in their boots, but they were trying their best to stay calm. They knew something was about to happen. Do you have somebody here to talk to me? Ben asked. Of course. Would you mind coming in? You are going to find this man intriguing. He's very... Oh, you're not the man I was looking for, but... Who cares? Dirge said with a smirk. Ben and Taylor looked surprised at this guy. He wore a uniform. He looked rather solemn and rather cold, aloof, very, very heartless looking. Alongside him was a blonde haired young lady with ribbons tied around, making sections. She had that aloof expression on her face. She was right next to him, and there were soldiers all lined up. Nobody dared move an inch. Ben and Taylor couldn't believe it. Hello, Mr. Timmins, Mr. Hallows. Uh. Then the man looked over. A smirk appeared on his face as he said, Hello, Katrina. Katrina gasped. All of a sudden, Lunda exclaimed, Ah! It's Karato Haragi! Karato Haragi! It's him, it's him, it's him! He says, rushing over behind Ben and Taylor. That's him! That's the guy! That's, that's, that's Karato! Dirge had that insidious grin on his face face as he said don't mind him he's part of a powerful forces known as the Japanese Imperial Army and he's quite taking an interest in our little experimentation Ben was quivering but he managed to swallow and said I see I find great interest in you, Benjamin Hallows, and I'd like to make a proposition with you, if you must know. I'm on a tight ship, and I'm on to someone who is around here in this city, someone who holds this power, this greatness over them, and I want you to maybe be a part of something. Would you like to be my successor? Ben didn't know what to say. He could feel his heart fluttering. Taylor felt goosebumps prickling around his body, his skin, as well as his face was gone completely white with shock. Ben swallowed. I don't know, sir. I... That's quite fast for something like that <laughs> it sounds promising yes but I I don't know your experiments are meaningful and maybe you can take part in something something much more greater I have a feeling we will be good with each other how about it <laughs> 